Hi there and welcome to a new video in which we're going to be talking about a skill that you have probably not been taught while learning game development. And that skill that I'm particularly interested in explaining in this video is how to make money. Now, you have probably watched some game development courses on how to create different games and don't get me wrong, that's completely perfect. But have you ever watched a video, a course on how to actually make money out of this passion that you have for games? That is a question that I had when I was learning game development four years ago. I was taking lots of courses, tutorials, creating my own stuff, but one day I thought, okay, how exactly do I make money out of it? Uh, now, fortunately, right now, I have four years of experience in game development. I work with top companies such as Buru, which is a game development company, one of the biggest ones uh, right now, with over 7 billion downloads. And I've also worked at Semba, which is a platform that has more than 1 million learners, because there they have some game development and programming courses. I am also uh, a five-star freelancer from all these reviews uh, that you can read over here. Okay, and I also have a, a, an official review from the CEO and founder of Semba, this company that I've uh, basically mentioned a second ago, which has more than 300 courses. Um, besides that, also a little bit more about Buru. He, as I mentioned, one of the biggest companies right now, 8 billion downloads, millions of dollars in revenue, and I've tested successfully three prototypes as an external studio okay and i also have these other three in the games i also have much ma many many more games created for all these clients but because of rights i can't show any of them so as you can see i have a lot of experience not only in creating games themselves but also in monetizing this skill this passion that probably you already have as me so in this video i'm going to be talking about the five main income streams that I have to currently make money as a game developer. And something that really annoys me and the reason why I'm creating this video is because I am studying at university, maybe as you are, or you're saying this at school or whatever, you are watching tutorials and nobody is talking about how you can make money. Uh, of course, there are lots of theories out there on why we aren't taught about how to make money with our skills, why we aren't taught how to make money even in school, in university, maybe you are graduated from economics or whatever, and you don't really know how to monetize your skill. Um, or even as a game developer, okay, yes, you, 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 do, you know a lot, but you don't know how to sell, how to make money. Um, there are a lot of theories about why we aren't taught that. I don't want to dig deeper into that in this video, but that is the harsh reality about right now. We know how to create stuff, we don't know how to monetize it. And in this video, I want to show you exactly that. So the first income stream that I have is Fiverr. And I also include here um, people that I've got as private clients, either by, for example, also LinkedIn, okay? Basically some kind of like freelance clients that I got through some online platforms such as Fiverr or LinkedIn. So this is how uh, my Fiverr profile looks like. So it's basically as any other profile in which you write a description of yourself, you also accumulate the different reviews that you start getting inside of the platform. You also have your different gigs, basically the different, um, the different services that you currently offer. You also have here your portfolio with the different projects that you have created or uh, collaborated in. Uh, and lastly, well, you also have the reviews that you have seen a second ago. So quite simple, how it works is that you basically create your own services um, and basically here you have to upload images, videos, etc. of yourself, okay? You have to try to sell yourself, basically. Uh, and well, everything with the gig description and everything. And basically, the good thing about Fiverr is that you get clients automatically. You just, well, you just create your profile, you try to optimize it with keywords, with good thumbnails in your gigs, and Fiverr will do the rest. Uh, they will basically uh, show your profile, show your gigs to potential buyers, and they will reach out to you. Then it's your job to close the sale, okay? And all that. This was like a super big summary, but actually closing a sale once you have a contact is a topic on its own. How I have been learning that is basically learning lots of marketing and communication books. I have like a whole library with dozens of books uh, right there on my room. And that's a pretty interesting way in which you can learn on your own how to sell, how to sell stuff, how to market yourself 
how to have a good conversation with other people to whom then you can sell your own uh, services. So that's super important. Of course, have a clear uh, profile picture, have also a clear description here on your gig. Use ChatGPT AI for, for this to help you a little bit if you are not very good at writing. Um, and basically that it's not that complicated to at least start off. The complicated thing is to actually close the sale once you have a contact from somebody. Okay, uh, So this is a pretty interesting income um, source because you just have your profile, your services and people start reaching out to you. And this can also be combined with your LinkedIn profile. So once again, here you have a pretty similar profile. You have, you can also have, for example, uh, your banner. Okay. Um, once again, you have like a description of yourself, your future post. You can even post uh, stuff over here. Your experience. Well, you just create here once again your profile. Uh, once again, I want to make this clear. Whenever you're creating these profiles in which you have to write a lot of information, the best thing that you can do is to, if you don't have enough time or really want to make it as good as possible. Just go to ChatGPT, explain to ChatGPT who you are, what your experiences are, and then tell ChatGPT to write you a Fiverr profile description, a LinkedIn profile description, a gig description, and basically after explaining what the gig is about, and it will actually give you pretty interesting results. Once again, as it happens with marketing and communication, that is a skill that we are not usually taught in school, in university, in courses. So it's really something that you have to learn on your own, either via podcasts, YouTube videos, even books. I've learned a lot via books uh, to master all these skills that I've been mentioning. And it, specifically in the terms of AI, one of the best ways of doing it is by just practicing a lot with AI, trying out different ways of, of doing it. There are also lots of amazing guides out there on the internet on how to make the most out of AI, by the way. So that is, I, I believe, the, the, the biggest source of income that I currently have. Fiverr, LinkedIn, or in general, private clients that directly reach out to me. The second income uh, stream that I want to show you is my YouTube channel where you are currently watching this video. So this is the YouTube channel. Okay, it has more than um, 11,000 subscribers. And well, I upload something like four, three to seven videos a week. It really depends on my availability. But this channel is monetized, um, has been monetized actually for a couple of months. Now, the income that the YouTube videos or the YouTube channel sells gives me is not super big. It's actually pretty small. Take into account the fact that every 1,000 long video views, uh, I get something like $1, something like that. Um, so with this, you can estimate how much this YouTube channel makes approximately. Um, so as you can see, it's, it's super low. Now, how I really, how you really make money as a YouTuber is with promotions. If you go to a playlist here, you should find here a playlist called, well, no, you don't have here the playlist, but I have it as a private playlist, which are the uh, promoted or videos in which I have partnered with a brand. So for example, a couple of weeks ago, I have partnered with an AI platform uh, and basically they paid me in order to create that video. Okay. So it was quite an interesting video. He, no, here it descent. Let me find it over here. Here it is. Okay. Go to plus Rodin. Rodin is that online platform and they basically paid me to create this video. And we have actually uh, collaborated in something like three or four videos and we continue to chat to collaborate in more videos or even in bigger projects. And not only this, but you can also, these companies are always or are sometimes related to IT, to technology in general. So you can sometimes also offer services related to your area. Of course, this is not a game development platform, but uh, they do have a marketing team and I am not a marketer, but I do know how to edit the videos, how to create posts, how to manage a community. So I also offer those services to this. So you can see how income, how one income stream in this case, a YouTube channel can also be related to another income stream, which is Fiverr, LinkedIn or private clients in general. So that's also something pretty interesting that you have to know about. Now, the next income stream that I have are private clients, and this is super related to the YouTube channel and Fiverr and LinkedIn. So once again, a private client, I count as private clients, those people or 
uh, companies that reach out to me because they have watched a YouTube video and either they want to partner with me or they even th there was there were some people that messaged me through LinkedIn because they told me, oh, I saw your YouTube videos. It's really cool what you do. I have a game project, a game development project going on. Do you want to also work on this? And I got some interesting proposals from there. And also I count as private clients. Um, for example, this thing that I mentioned, I partnered with some company or with some client, and then I ended up, I ended up offering my services. And this is actually what happened with Semba. That remember is a game development and programming courses platform. So we initially partnered in a video in which I was just promoting their platform. But a couple of weeks later, um, this person reached out back to me and told me, hey, your, your videos are pretty interesting. Do you want to collaborate on creating courses for the platform? And of course I said yes. And instead of just collaborating in a couple of YouTube videos, we ended up working for a couple of months and we still work today. So that's something super, super interesting for you to consider. Well, this one, I believe that I've already described it a lot. Basically, uh, sponsored YouTube videos. There are going to be some people that watch your channel and they want to promote their um, their company or their services on your channel. So this is a pretty interesting um, income stream because lots of times it is a service that you can charge an interesting amount of money and it doesn't require that much that much job, okay? Because what they mostly want is the audience that you have, the views that you can get with that video. So it's not such a complicated thing to do and you still get a, a considerable um, amount of money. And the last one that I want to mention is indie game development. Yes, you can make money with indie games. I have three indie games published right now, or these are the, the most important indie games that I have published. I have not monetized them yet because they are not a complete project that that was actually created to make money. They were projects to experiment a little bit with the, with the game development. Uh, I could create something much better than these uh, projects right now with the skills that I have. Uh, but I also wanted to mention that, that there is a lot of people out there that publish their game on Steam, on Google Play Store, on App Store, etc. And they actually make a lot of money out of it uh, because of ad revenue, in-app purchases, etc. So that's also an income stream that you can explore if you like it um, or that you can take into account in general. But I have not experimented with it personally because I found these four income sources uh, much better for at least my profile and what I like to do. So I hope that you like this, uh, this video and I really hope that we can see uh, each other again in a future one. So if you really enjoyed this type of content, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.